That's great. So I've also uh, I've heard about your Headspace at Work offering. I know, you know, uh, in this age of technology, you know, one of the things that's talked about most at conferences and in the workplace is about being distracted by technology and how bad technology can be. And really, um, meditation and these types of practices can help you to become less distracted by the technology and learn how to separate yourself. So, you know, I've used Headspace with my family, um, but how are you offering this in the workplace? Yeah, so I think there's a, there's a few things. One, we've been very lucky with the, you know, over 40 million people on the platform now, folks that like the product go and tell people at work that they really like the product or go to HR and say, look, yeah. this is great. We would love to get it in. Like, I'm using it. Can we get it into the workplace? I think it would be really useful. And so the start of the Headspace at Work business was very organic. It was really kind of word of mouth and people being evangelists for us within organizations. And so we were just servicing that. I think as the influx of kind of requests came in over time, I think we last year, well, about 18 months ago, we decided to make a really concerted effort to kind of build a proper business around it. And so that was one of our bets for last year. And yeah, it's grown tremendously. So we've got over 300 um, you know, clients on that platform at the moment. Now, the product is essentially the same as you get as if you're a consumer. The only difference is you get a whole launch plan, you get a different dashboard as an HR leader that gives you all your stats, that allows you to maintain all your subscriptions. So it enables you as an HR leader to manage it for your organization. And then we're adding more and more features into that product. Uh, but essentially at the moment, it's the, same, it's the same product. It's just delivered in a different way. And I think what we found interesting is that in the same way that it happens in real life, this thing of like work life, it's the same in a yeah. business where groups of people start using it together and they kind of encourage people to use it. And we found that once there's a couple of champions in these places, it does just it does just spread very organically without us having to push it too much. So for me, that is a very, very encouraging sign. But I think for us as well, think about our vision of improving the health and happiness of the world. We, we don't think that we can deliver on that unless we affect the way people kind of behave and act at work because they spend so much time at work. Mm -hmm. and I think how workforces are going to get more distributed, the way we're not going to be around each other quite so much in the, in the next 10 years. So I think anything that can help glue that together, and I think Headspace is one of those tools that can do that, I think, is, I think businesses can see that, and it's, it's becoming quite an easy, an, e an easier sell than it was a few years ago, I would say, sure. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, go ahead, No, go ahead. I want to hear what you... I was, I was just going to say, I think the, what I really like about it is, as you say, I think very often technology is seen as a distraction, particularly mm. in the workplace. And what I love about this is that mm -hmm. it, the technology is amazing if we yeah. use it in the right way. Exactly. And, the right things. and so I quite like the idea that this is a digital kind of offering mm -hmm. uh, that can allow people to sort of reassess their relationship with with technology and hopefully find a, a healthier way of, of interacting with it. Yeah, it's it's so great hearing you guys say what you're saying because I'm actually one of your evangelists. I'm a keynote speaker, but I, I have this book called Business Balance and Bliss and part of my keynote is about utilizing meditation and the question is always, how do I get started? And I always tell them about you guys. So, cause it's a great way to, you know, really be guided and not have to strain yourself on getting started with meditation. And I think that it's something that prevents people cause they're just scared of, you know, can I actually sit there and not do anything, yeah. you know, for a great deal of time or, a lot of times what comes up for people is I'm not doing it right because I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that. Yeah. 